Tributes pour in for Multi's father who died in Ta'ali. Woman who locked flatmate in filthy room with dogs given a suspended sentence. And PL Radio host warns activists will give him a lesson he'll never forget. All this and more on tonight's episode of Love and Daily. Good evening, Multan Godzo. Matt Baldacchino here, joined by my co-host Jonathan Chia. Welcome to another episode of Love and Daily on this yet again cold January evening. How are you doing today, John? I'm doing good. As you can see, I'm layered up today. Same. <laughs> We're going to jump right into the first story today. A bit of a tragic story that happened late last night, but we've got some confirmations. Today, Malti's father, Adrian Muscat, has been identified as the worker who lost his life last night in a overnight workplace accident in Ta'ali. So the 40-year-old man who lives in Gargur um, fell down a narrow shaft after a piece of machinery overturned. And unfortunately, in the accident, another worker was also injured, a 35-year-old who lives in Imjar. I think a lot of people woke up this morning, were shocked to find out that the man had died. He was a very popular man, um, a father of four. And there's lots of tributes and condolences being sent out to the man from his loved ones to Transport Minister Ian Borge. Yeah, tributes have, as you said, been pouring in uh, for Adrian Muscat. Uh, one man to the, daughter, uh, to the daughters of uh, Adrian said, uh, RIP Adrian, I lack my words to express my grief over the passing of your phenomenal father. Minister Ian Borge said, uh, condolences to the family of the worker who lost his life. Another person said, take care of your beautiful family up from up there and condolences to all the family. Obviously, from everyone at Loveland and the Malta, condolences. Um, we'll be moving on to the next story now. A rather unfortunate story. Uh, a woman who locked her flatmate in a filthy room with dogs has been given a suspended sentence. Um, uh, 38 year old uh, Ana Maria Jimenez was handed a two year prison sentence, suspended for three years after she was found guilty of locking a woman, her flatmate at that, with the intellectual disabilities in a foul smelling room for years, for hours on end, excuse me. Prosecuting officer Joseph Buzatil first testified about this case back in 2015. He said that the police had first started investigating after the flatmate herself reported her to a poch. She alleged that Jimenez had been abusing her for nine years, locking her up in her bedroom with two dogs and a bucket to be used as a toilet. Um, uh, Jimenez herself worked as a hospital carer um, uh, apparently between the hours of 10 p.m. and 3 a.m., upon which she would return and unlock the door, feed her flatmate, and then give her bits of Playmobil toys to put together. Playmobil themselves confirmed that she was putting together around $2,000 a day. Wow, that is a lot of dollars. No, this is a very disturbing story coming out of court today. And it's interesting when you look at what happened in court. A magistrate Claire Stafache Zamit found Jimenez guilty of both locking her flatmate up as well as extorting her for rent money. But she was not found guilty of assault as well as injuring her as no medical certificates could be provided to prove those charges, which I find very questionable. Um, you know, when you look at the, the, the story, the details are shocking. Nine years locked for up to 17 hours a day in rooms with in a room with a dog, with dogs. I can imagine the smell in there, using a bucket as a toilet. Um, what's interesting to notice, this isn't Jimenez's first brush with the law. Back in 2016, she was given a four year sentence in prison for having found, been found guilty of living off the earnings of the prostitution of a 15 year old girl. So very shocking backstory here. She's out and about in the streets again. So let's hope that she doesn't end up in court again in another similar case where someone is clearly being taken advantage of. I'm talking about abuse and, and and threats. Moving on to the next story, a Labour, a PL radio host and activist has threatened, warned the president of a NGO that he'll give him a lesson he won't forget if he continues to taunt former Prime Minister Joseph Muscat. So we're talking about activist um, uh, and radio host Emmanuel Kushkiri, very um, uh, outspoken on social media. He has a radio show as well, as we said. Um, if you're aware of the way he speaks, he's very partisan, it's very clear. Um, what side he's on, and he's kind of taken Republica President Robert Aquilina to task after Aquilina said that you know he had been outside Bormara, uh, 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 Joseph Muscat's Bormarad home earlier this week following the raid um, that happened at 7 a.m. on his uh, on his house. So Kushkiri had some very strong words for the Republica president. 
um, saying, listen, if you're there again, I will definitely be there as well, quote, and I'm convinced I won't be alone. He said, quote, if you think I'm joking, you'd better think twice. I mean, I only have really have one thing to say about the situation. In 2022, I still do not understand how it's okay to, you know, put out threats of violence or any sort of threat to people out there. This is never okay. Please stop doing this. Um, and we'll move right on to our next story on that note. Um, Maltese wrestler Wayne Parch, whose ring name is Gianni Vella, runs a professional wrestling academy and has been asked to get two permits for a live show. Um, he's trying to host on the 5th of February. He's now calling out authorities after spending weeks chasing them for said permit. He says, quote, the MTA is telling us that pro wrestling Malta requires two permits, one for a seated event with spectators and another, with a standing ev uh, and another for a standing event because the wrestlers wouldn't be sitting down. Obviously, they need to stand up so that they can wrestle. Um, the MTA cannot yet give me the green light because they are waiting for the new COVID-19 related guidelines by the health authorities, he said. Now, current COVID-19 uh, rules allow for seated events uh, for most and adequately vaccinated people, but standing events are prohibited with no set date for return. Uh, Parch went on to ask why other sporting events have been faced with the same permit hurdles, suggesting that maybe it was because Pro Wrestling Malta uh, is not registered with Sport Malta. And he went on to add, how come X Factor and other events can keep going on while we're stuck in this banal loophole? Listen, I really feel for uh, Wayne Parch. Um, I can't even imagine what it's like to put on an event right now. You speak to MTA, they tell you, listen, we need this permit. You try to apply for the permit and you find that you cannot apply for the permit um, until some new updates come in from the government. It's one of those stories, you know, the left hand not knowing what the right hand is doing. When one part of authorities are telling you you need something and then another part is literally saying, I can't give it to you, you're kind of stuck up a creek without a paddle. Um, so, you know, let alone the fact that we don't really have wrestling events in Malta, this is definitely something we'd like, like to see more of to nurture. I mean, you know, when I was younger, I was a big wrestling fan as well, so this is something I'd definitely like to see a Malta. I'm sure there are other wrestling fans. So it's just really sad to see people trying to set up a pro wrestling event in Malta and just coming into this hurdle. So hopefully, you know, that is sorted out for them and we get to see some suplexes. And I do tell, um, I would advise MTA and uh, other, other authorities to get this sorted. The wrestlers might come and pr try out some new moves on them and we don't want any of that happening. On the topic of uh, entertainment, um, coming to the final story, Disney Plus. It's finally coming to Malta. Now, this is a channel, very, very popular streaming platform that people have been calling for for years. In Malta, we have Netflix. I remember when we didn't even have Netflix and what a big change that was for a lot of Maltese viewers when Netflix came in. Disney Plus is coming to Malta. Um, uh, it will be at the price of $8.99 a month for the subscription, which I think is actually a little bit cheaper than Netflix. Um, and it's got a swath of really, really popular shows that I think a lot of viewers would like to see. It's coming to Malta along with 42 countries. So that's 41 other countries apart from Malta this summer. It's interesting you mentioned the price because uh, there's been a lot of talk lately about the competitiveness that Netflix is facing with mm. other streaming giants, right? We have Amazon Prime, Hulu, and now Disney Plus is coming to Malta. Um, obviously, previous viewers uh, locally had to use a VPN um, or, you know, other services, allegedly. Um, uh, but now they can look forward to, as you said, a swath of new shows from platforms like Pixar, The Marvel Universe, Star Wars, National Geographic and Star. So look out for classics like The Simpsons and The Muppet Show, but also shows like Loki, What If and The Mandalorian. And on that note, that brings us to the end of another episode of Love and Daily. This has been Matt Baldacchino and Jonathan Chiria. Have an evening full of love and
Martin Monday. You lie. I lie still. <laughs> Were you happy with the summarization of the wrestling thing, or was it? Yeah, yeah, I think it was good. I think, I don't know if you actually said the words, um, he's been told to apply for a permit that doesn't exist yet. Like, that simple sentence. You explained it, but I don't think you said those simple words. So, okay. I always try to remember, like, a sentence that summarizes the whole story, say it at the beginning, mm -hmm. and you start breaking it down, right? Keep and in fact, that when I came in, I said that line. Brilliant. Cool, but really well done, man. Mentioned. No, Thank no, you. super good fun. Hi. Hi. Is that person still commenting, or we're good? Thanks, Andrea. Thanks, Andrea. Andrea. Is, is, is the disappearing comment? Uh, I have my glass here. Oh, I, I didn't get it. Nope. I'm tripping. All right.